Hello everyone and welcome to another 3D Buzz training video. In this video, Zach will continue with his modeling on the Adat like vehicle that we are Yay. creating for UT3. I'm going to finish it tonight. Oh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> now, you know, generally we try to keep these to about half an hour. Right, right. I just don't see that uh, happening. I, I don't either. Um, there's a couple things I want to do real quick. I'm going to grab both of these guys. Ooh, and there's some, some stuff over there. Here's some other bits and pieces of the trans drive. Let me see if I can get everybody all at once. Uh, let's see. What is it? Shift and Alt to add to your selection. And all I want to do, really, is center up that piece we were making of the trans drive mm -hmm. so it kind of fits around there. It doesn't have to be exact. Not to keep me happy. We can make it exact later. I just want it close. Okay, so now I'm happy. All right, so there's a lot of things we can do to the trans drive, but before we do, I wanted to show these fine gems off. Oh, did this one and this one. These were images that were uh, sent to me by uh, 3D Buzz's own Count Zero over on the forums. Uh, I remember his first name is Julian, but I can't remember his last name, and I should have written it down before we started recording, <laughs> but I didn't, so my apologies. So this is a um, some photos of a master replica's uh, studio model. It's a, it's a replica of the studio model. Yeah, fantastic reference images. I have a, a master replica uh, of the um, of Darth Vader's lightsaber, mm -hmm. which is just absolutely fantastic. Actually, I have two of them. I have the the neon one and the regular one. So they do a really really good job. So we're going to be able to get a lot of detail from this. You can already see that there's some things on the trans drive that you know we could take a different approach. We've got these uh, little tiny tiny ridges that run all the way around. You know, I've, I was thinking about this. You could model these, or you could probably add these into the normal map later manually. You very if you easily to. get away with normal map. And you just um, texture those in yep. when you go to create the normal map. But there, we're not even going to worry about that right this minute. I'm more interested in getting some more of the geometry of the, the trans drive in place. I'm noticing, taking a look at that, that front little funky front little symbol. This thing. Yeah. Yours turned out pretty darn close it, to that. Yeah, I know. It was alarmingly close just from seeing a, a couple of reference images. But that's cool. It makes me kind of happy. I'm, I, I did something right anyway. So, uh, yeah, there are some differences, though, between this and some of the things that we even saw on the, but the screen. But we've seen that there are differences with just about every image you've opened. Exactly. And so, really, it's just kind of picking and choosing which ones you like the best to, uh, to incorporate. So, anyways, uh, let's see. The next thing that we could tackle is actually, you know, start doing some modeling. That's, that'd be such a nice picture if it were in higher resolution. You want to go ahead and get the back leg in place and uh, its plate that it connects to so that we can have So I don't have to actually up. do any modeling for a minute. I can just kind of <laughs> fool around for a few well, minutes. We can and kind of line up where the back of the trans drive is going to be. Yeah, let's see here. If I can do a really clever marquee selection there and then another one down here. I think that's everybody. And just to be on the safe side, just because I'm picky, let's group this and let's call this... R underscore four leg. And I don't know, did it grab that too or something? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay, so now we just need to mirror this over. So I'll jump over here. Let's hit F3 so we can see vaguely where this is going to go on the old image plane. And let's see, we're hitting the mirror button. And we want a copy, of course. And let's just see if we can just kick up that offset. Oh, the spinner is slow today. There we go. That's interesting. It's like the plate is... Like the back plate's not the exact same. That's something I wouldn't have guessed either. But that can just be adjusted. Yeah, of course. So we'll get the, we'll get the leg kind of in place yeah. and not worry about the rest of it. So that's pretty close. And click OK. I mean, everything else seems to be lining up pretty well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to investigate this. What is it, what's this all about? Um, if we, oh yeah, I have that modeling material on. Wasn't mm. that a handy decision? <laughs> so yeah, that is much longer. Uh, it'd be cool if we could. Uh, let's see. What about that great big picture that Count Zero sent us? I don't know. You know, I'm put, doing the whole. You know, put your fingers against the monitor and put smudges on it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like to me they're about the same length. In fact, from this angle, it actually looks like the back plate is longer. And that, you know, who could tell from that? Any other images? Oh, we've got, I've got images coming out of my nose. Um, that may, well, that looks pretty even to me, but that's from way back here. That one. These are the troubles that trouble a modeler. Did I skip anything good? 
Not really. All right, back up. Back, backing. Right here? Yeah. Uh, just You're at that funny... I'm, I'm looking at something different. I'm looking at how much space is between the two. Yeah. Like, but... Be oh, no, between here yeah. and there? Yeah. How gotcha. close is that? Because yours obviously don't overlap at the moment. Mm, well... Do they? No, but they're, that they're would never close. work. <laughs> Mechanically yeah, speaking, that would never close. work. So I think a compromise between where it's at now and the other one... If you... Maybe just slide it back to here and kind of call it. Because it, it seems like they should be sort of centered up underneath this armor. That is something that I felt like I'd, I'd kind of noticed. Almost like this little plate of armor here mm -hmm. drops down almost to pr protect those. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, really, I mean, if you could get a good shot at those, this whole thing is useless. It's done walking anyway. Ooh, and here, these could be useful. Maybe. If the guy would just back the camera. It's like you just want to talk to the photographer. It's like, could you just take a step back? I mean, you know, if you kind of interpolate again, I got my fingers on uh, on the screen again. I'm, I'm still getting this about the same size. So it, it looks like we may have just discovered inadvertently an interesting discrepancy in the image planes. Unless I'm just completely out of my gourd. Useless, useless, useless. Do -do 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 -do. Maybe kind of useful, you know, in, in that this is not really an official model, but still. I'm trying to be all precise. Yeah, I'm getting the same size again. Okay. So, you know, I say we just kind of, oh, we try not to make a user view and just do a compromise and leave it maybe right about there. Okay. Okay, so that solves that one. And matter of fact, it might end up becoming a matter where we actually take both the legs and do something like that to them. So that they're both kind of centered up on that armor plate. But that's not something we have to do right this minute. I'd worry more about that once we got the upper shell a little more completed and started having to take the trans drive and put this little plate over the end of it, things like that. Okay, so back over here in perspective. I mean, that's starting to look very adat like. Mm -hmm. You know, like this whole thing is supposed to be very adat like. All right, so let's see, from here, um, there are a few more things to this front piece of the trans drive that we need to add. Of course, we need to go ahead and get this connected over. And there's an interesting uh, connection that takes place there. I could just go ahead and model it, or I could take a minute and try to point out what I had seen. Let me just go ahead and model it, because we've, we've already been looking at pictures for a while. Sure. Um, let's just jump over here, and I'm going to kind of shade things down a little bit so I can see through. I'm not really paying attention to the image plane so much as I am just trying to make sure I can see all my geometry. I'm going to create a cylinder. And something like that will probably work. Give it some amount of height. I have no idea how much, nor am I really concerned with all that. Now let's get a little bit of partial shading. You know, I remember the old days when I was using Max, and granted, it could have been a video card thing back then when it wouldn't do smooth transparency like that. Mm -hmm. It would get all spotted and dissolvey. 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 Nice well, word. Well, it, it's it's not mine. That's like from Photoshop when you use the div dissolve. Uh, what is it? Blend mode? Mm -hmm. Because that's what it looks like. Like, don't pick on me because I said the I'm word just, dissolving. you know, saying nice word. Uh huh. No, I heard the tone, man. No, it was, I, yeah. I heard. It's honestly a nice word. I heard the tone. Okay, uh, let's see. 21, 22, 23, 24. And then I can maybe grab these guys and, and maybe lose them. I don't know here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and convert this. I, I'm not too worried about nickeling on something that we're only going to see. We're never right. really going to see from, you know, edge on, so. Uh, let's convert this over to a poly. Let's hit four and one, two, three, four, and five and six and of course. Okay. And uh, I'm almost reluctant to kill out these two guys. It's almost like I wish I had a, a face or two more, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Hello? Max is taking a second to think about this action. <laughs> oh, we'll give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. We will give it a minute because I really don't want uh, what I think is about to happen to happen. So how about that radio show tonight? Man, that radio show was awesome. I wish we had more radio shows like that. Uh, I wonder if I've just lost my viewport. Yeah, I just lost my viewport. I don't know what that was all about. But oh, now cool. I hit delete and everything's fine. So, hey. Don't knock it. All right, so now let's jump back in here. Let's go to edges, 
And I'm going to bridge from you to you and from you to you. It's fantastic how easy that works. Now, now with that done, um, let's get out of bridge altogether. Let's grab these two. I'm going to do just a little bit of extruding. Wow, that's not just a little bit of extruding. <laughs> i say something like that. In fact, beveling might have been a little more prudent, but that's okay. Uh, let me see if I can do a, a tad of scaling. It's just kind of making that look a little more rounded. That's all I'm doing. And I'll get rid of these interior faces because we don't really need them anymore. So what we've got, what I'm basically trying to create here, is there's this uh, this piece that is like two halves of a cylinder, or sections of a cylinder, mm -hmm. that are sandwiched together with like a block in the middle. And this block is going to have a, a shaft running through it that actually connects to the underside of the ADAT. It's almost like there's a suspension system here, which does uh, the dual job of kind of stabilizing the trans drive and uh, acting like a shock absorber for the leg. Gotcha. Or at least that's the impression that I get, you know. Not that I designed Almost it. sounded like you went to the Imperial Adat School or Dude, something. I would so sign up for the <laughs> Imperial Adat School. I wonder what it life would be like as a you know a maintenance officer or something. I'll bet it sucks. <laughs> Probably does. Like any government job like that. I'll, I'll bet the hours are bad, the pay is not so hot. If they pay you at all. I mean, it is like, you know, empire and very, you know, got that whole regimental sort of totalitarian thing going on. So you, you might not even be getting paid. Right. Okay, uh, let's jump over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, wrong viewport. Don't tell anybody I did that. Let's create a box. Complete with sound effects. I guess we could do it here and then yeah. just increase the height, because I don't think I even need to convert this. Uh, let's shade everything up so I can get kind of a clearer idea of what we've got here. What is it? Length to thicken that up? Yes. And I don't really care about the top of it because nobody's ever going to see that unless they manage to climb up in here, which I wouldn't allow anyways if it was my game. I almost feel like we're going to... Well, I feel like, great. We are going to need some sort of a cylinder in here mm -hmm. to kind of complete that effect, but we'll deal with that in a minute. For now, oh, let's jump back over here to cylindrical creation. I'm thinking, bear with me a moment. If we want to decorate this and make it look cool, we could do a, a capsule, no, or like a, even just a hemisphere. Because really, I mean, in the end, who's going to see it snaking all the way through up, up here? I'm just thinking out loud. Let me just do a cylinder. And we'll turn on auto grid. And we're just going to draw it right here. And there we go. That's not bad. Now, just in case somebody playing on the ground, you gotta, you gotta kind of think of it this way too. I mean, here's your player's perspective if if you're on the ground. I'm gonna hit the up arrow key, and if you look up, you know how how often are you gonna actually see this kind of thing? Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll hit a, let me hit escape to get out of that mode. I'll go ahead and make this kind of run out of the top of this. But I'm not going to do any embellishments to it. I mean, there may be some sort of interesting shop, shock absorber system up here with computers and hoses and ratchet points and things like that. But for our purposes, I think that's kind of going overboard. Mm -hmm. And I know there's models out there that are like that. In fact, Count Zero is kind of making one. You know, his, his uh, model is looking awesome over on 3D Buzz. Mm -hmm. He's doing a fantastic job over there. Now let's convert this to an editable poly, and I'm just having fun with this. There's uh, no real agenda here aside from just making something that I think looks kind of cool. So uh, let's do an inset, but not quite that much, and an extrude, but not quite that much. <laughs> kind of an ongoing theme here. And then we'll do uh, another inset, but a little more. And then a little tiny extrude. I'm making this up so much as I go. And then we'll do a bevel. Wow, that's not good. And then we'll do another inset, and that's way too much inset. And then an extrude that actually goes inward. And there you go. Just some random interesting mechanical piece, 9,000. And every time I say 9,000 now, I always think of Stephen Hughes, who, the, like, one of the many times I've said that, because I've been using 9,000 forever, you know? Mm -hmm. And without missing a beat, he goes, what is that, an upgrade from the 8800 model? <laughs> Great. All right, loop. 
And let's chamfer at least that one piece just a little bit, just, you know, for the fun of it. I don't think we need to really need to chamfer anything else. Probably didn't need to chamfer that, but I wanted to do it anyway. Okay, so let's grab all these guys, hit the M key, drop on our material, hit F4 so we can put away all of our stuff. And, you know, if we're walking around underneath this thing, that's going to kind of work. Um, it might be cool in case somebody does, maybe they are, like right here between the feet, and they do catch that. Mm -hmm. To It might be cool to thicken that up a little bit once it gets up here. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's grab you, hit 4, grab this guy. We'll pull him down a little bit. And uh, you could do an outline. No, I don't want to do an outline. Can cancel that. Let's do a bevel. So I can go up and then just do this. And then let's do an extrude. And I have no idea how high up that should go. Once we get the armor shell out here done, then we're going to start filling in what takes place underneath it because it only makes sense to do that when, mm -hmm. uh, when we can build inward a little bit. So this will just kind of hang here for a while. It's just hanging out, man. You know, like we were doing on that radio show. Yeah. Just hanging out, man. And getting in trouble because we're saying awful things. We were not. Okay, they weren't that awful. I mean, nothing that I'm going to you know, get my mom called over. And by the way, if you know my mom's number, please leave her alone. <laughs> All right, so that's looking good. We need to put a little cylinder over here. Can I steal anything? Can I reuse something? Because I'm lazy. I don't want to keep modeling stuff. Let me ungroup this or at least detach it or something. You. What are you, and can I steal you for the purposes of laziness? What? You. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, maybe. Just try it. Yeah, I mean, you don't know until you try. Let me try mirroring it. And is that the prop? I think that might have even been the proper direction to mirror it. That'd be creepy. Oh my goodness, that worked on the first try. That doesn't ever happen. And then, you know, I might just take this and kind of even out the distance. And there you go. That looks cool. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. No, it looks like it's supposed to be there even. Mm -hmm. Two points for me. Okay, so um, let's see. We could go in a couple of different directions from here. We could uh, start adding on some of the bits and pieces that are supposed to be on this trans drive, or we could start creating what's going to become trans drive 2 for the rear legs. Do you have any opinion on that regard? Yeah, it's totally up to you, sir. Man. I wish I was okay with that. It'd you can cool. go ahead and mirror that off if it's pretty yeah. much the exact same thing. I think it is. From from all Well, you don't really have much reference-wise. Like, right. So. It's, uh, it's not like I think anybody's going to care. So let's just assume that it's more or less the exact same thing. Oh, Bink, you know, which way did you decide to mirror? Probably the wrong way. Oh, that looks right. It's just offset the wrong way. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yay. Actually, that distance looks pretty good mm -hmm. um, from what I've seen <clears throat> Excuse me, of shots from the underside of the thing. So we must be doing something right with the leg, even if it's extending out a little far. I just think the image plane is, is a little whacked. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. Look at the feet. Yeah, and, and the, the so little higher. skinny little chicken legs, you know. It's like they, they built an ADAT with an ATST frame. Oh, my gosh, I just waxed geek. So that looks pretty good, mm -hmm. enough to get us started anyway. All right, so back over here, solidifying the view so I can... Pretty much the same coupling on. system. Yeah, the, well, it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's going to be. I figure the Empire is going to reuse parts whenever they can. You saw those TIE Fighters, man. Those things look like they'd fall apart if you kicked one hard oh, yeah. enough. I wouldn't want to fly in one. I'm just kidding. I would love to fly in one. Get the whole space suit where you look like a, a blackly clad stormtrooper. That'd be awesome. Okay, so now uh, the rear trans drive. If we want to go ahead and just start that, and then mm -hmm. we can just kind of do a detailing pass where we add little greebles and bits and pieces to the whole thing. Uh, let's find a picture that shows what it looks like, or sort of. Because uh, I don't think we have any pictures that really show it off very well. And that's kind of the front. Okay, well, uh, we can see... Another little funny organic T piece. Uh, we see that it. Yeah, let's see if I, how close I can get over here. All right, we've got some funny little openings on the sides with little thingies that stick out. We've got kind of a little. I can't tell if that's either bulbous, like rounded, or tapering outward. Mm -hmm. We're almost at too much of an angle for me to say yay or nay to that. Uh, but it's also one of those things where I don't think it matters. 
Now, we do know the, the rear trans drive is longer because it actually sticks out the back. It's covered by this funny plate back here in the back. There's a kind of a picture of it. Not much information there except we can see that T-piece. Mm -hmm. And then something hanging off the bottom. But if we make one of those on the front, we can just dupe it over to the back or mirror it. Sure. In fact, it's not entirely impossible that we could start the whole thing off by mirroring the trans drive we have and extending it. And then adding in some... Beefing uh, it up and yeah, doing what we need. Exactly. To. Just, you know, change your edge loops around and whatnot. Let me give that a try. Just, you know, if for no other reason, then it might save us a little bit of hassle. So let's take you. Let's hit the mirror button. And he mirrored the right direction. We just need to really bring that offset down. Down, 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 down. So, I mean, that's kind of a, a cool start. I... It's like, where did I go? All the lights went out. I scrolled back through the image plane. So if that ever happens, please don't send me an email asking where your model went. I'll be forced to make jokes on your behalf. Okay, so uh, F4 so I can see these. I almost want to take out some of this detail while I work. You know, maybe put it back later. Because mm -hmm. I'm like that. I'm one of those kind of modelers. Let me see here. I want to try something. Um... A great big weld. Would that do it? It seems like it would. Oh, look at that. Let me try this. Oh, yeah, but it condenses everything down. I don't know. That's not necessarily a problem. It's not even something that most people would even notice. I don't know, but I still feel bad about it, you know? Oh. It kind of stinks having a conscience. All right, let's 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 do it this way then. I'll grab these guys. We'll frame up on them. Let's hit two and grab you and you. And... Oh, man, I need to move, zoom faster than that. I'm impatient. And you. And you. Can I rotate around and get the other guy? Yeah. Hello. Something about doing that made me want to go watch Tron again. Really? Yeah, I don't know what that just was. Yeah, I don't see the connection. Um, I don't know, maybe it's the cheap geometry and no motion blur zipping by? I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Uh, let's grab all of that and convert to polygons and just hit delete. And then if we go back over here to vertices, and uh, of course this would be safer if I was in an orthogonal view, but we can do that anyway. And now if we weld, nothing should condense downward. And then if we just really wanted to be sticklers about it, you get all three of these kind fellows. You could loop them. I'm not sure hitting anybody I didn't mean to. And then just hold down control and remove those edges. So now you've really simplified that a lot. Now, um, I kind of want to go ahead and do that here, too. It's almost like I just, I just want to kind of start from a relatively clean slate. Sure. I still think this is going to end up being faster than extruding something out on my own, uh, recreating a cylinder, converting it, etc. Unless I'm wrong. Being wrong doesn't bother me, though. Really. I swear. Because I'm never wrong. Yeah, I hear that all the time. Well, last time it was Jeff who said it. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was, actually. Yeah, that wasn't right. me last time. All right, cool. Now, ring, convert to poly, use it, delete, and grab all the vertices, and do a quick weldy weld. I just crank up that threshold. Yay. Looks good, too. Grab this guy and his friend and his friend. Loop, control, remove. Okay, so that's enough for me. Mm -hmm. Now we can start kind of just plugging along. So let's... Does that thing, does it do like a beehive? Uh, it kind of does. There's like a bulbous area yeah, it sort of thing. Up and back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what I wanted to do first off was just kind of get an overall length okay. in place. So let me get back over here in the viewport. I also... Yeah, I wonder if it's smaller when it gets back here. I mean, it kind of... It's shown that it's smaller back here when you get to the image plane, but I'm almost like, you know, the image plane says it, so it's probably not true. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let me try this. I shouldn't be fearing any scaling, but for whatever reason, I'm all apprehensive and stuff. 
I probably can't do that from another viewport, so pro it's probably wise of me to open two views at the same time. So, let's see here. Now, that's a shot from the rear of the thing. Of course, that's shooting all the way down, and it's the image plane, so again, we can't really take that as anything useful. I need to quit picking on this image plane. This schematic is actually really good, but I'm just giving it a hard time because that's kind of what I do. All right, uh, let's see, what, what do we have back here? Because we do have some photographic reference of what at least this part looks like. I mean, uh, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a little bit of, like a ring here and then some tapering out and then a lip. And there's something in there that is almost like some sort of nondescript extrusion. Could so it almost looks like a, uh, a nozzle off of a rocket or something. I was actually thinking something like that the very first time I saw it. Like they just slide this up and it <laughs> this fires off like a rocket and the thing just gallops along. Like that episode of Invader Zim when Gurr turns into the house. Gotcha. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Let me go over here. We'll shade this down a little bit just so I can see just a little bit better. What if we pull all of these vertices back? back because we've got this kind of built-up mm -hmm. ring that could become the ring now we can take these vertices maybe that's a little bit far let me pull that back out a little bit okay now these could actually become that tapered thing they'd have to be a little bigger i am officially now ignoring what the image plane says good for me let's see here can we just do that it still seems like the whole thing's a little big. Are you feeling that at all? Like maybe oh. the whole thing needs to be kind of... I, I can't do it from this angle. But maybe from here I can. Or you take the whole thing, kind of t you know, shrink it down a little bit. Maybe that's just me. I don't know, it's hard to say, you know? All right. I'll just make a command decision. We'll put it right about there. That's probably enough by way of outward tapering, but we need to pull it back a little bit so we can do a straightly extruded ring that comes out of it. And then it should start to look... We start to be able to tell if we're close, and I think that looks pretty close. Mm -hmm. Let me come out here to perspective for a moment, and we need to shade things up so I can see inside. So we're doing a little bit of extruding through. I almost don't care, though, because uh, we could... Grab that. Let me try this. This should be cool if it works. Let's grow that and then grow that and then get the scale tool out. And then we can thereby thicken up the walls of this piece a little bit. Mm -hmm. In fact, we might need to do it again because we've got a whole other extrusion level we got to pull out of there. Uh, not to mention, we could probably grab this guy and slide him. Oh, whoa, which direction were you going? Okay, yeah. Maybe pull him out like that. All right, uh, let's see, two, grab you, hit ring, connect, 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 connect. No, just one, please, not two. Almost. Hmm. I'm thinking. Mm hmm Let me see here. If we get this guy, and then we get this guy. This may not be a wise idea, but I just want to try it anyway. And we ring them. And then we convert those over to polygon. And then we extrude those. Now, which way are you going? You're going inward. I don't want you to go inward. I want you to go positive. And not by local normal, but instead by group. Group, in this case, I think should just be straight back. Yeah. So let's take a quick look at what we got here. It's pretty close. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead. Let's pull it out just a little bit more and then we'll call it. Let's jump over here, and so we were, we were able to kind of rescue one of those bevels, so we still have it, and we could take this guy and bevel him out as well. Chamfer, bevel, it's all the same. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we just need a couple of ridges along here. Now if you want to get hardcore, there's uh, four, like, and all four ridges, but they're, you know, they're two kind of, rings, yeah, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Fine, just take all my thunder, man. <laughs> take it all. <laughs> all right, so ring and connect. Let's just do two connections. So two segments and... Oop, no, wrong slider. Zach. I'm going to pinch those in just a little bit more. Because I'm just putting these like right down the mm -hmm. center line of those rings. 
click OK, do a chamfer, do, 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 maybe about like so. And hang on, he's thinking again, because he does that sometimes. Let's take those, and we'll just, instead of clicking OK, we'll click Apply. We'll chamfer those as well. Yeah, something maybe kind of like so. And let's do, oh, yeah, 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 I'm down with it. Let's put another segment in there and just click OK. All right. Now, real carefully, I want this edge and that edge and that edge and that edge. Do, 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 do. That's it. That's it. That's everybody. I just wanted to fly around for a while. And then we'll loop those. And then we'll get the scale tool out and really carefully... We'll just pull these in just, just a tiny little bit. Will it even let us pull it in a tiny little bit, or we have to like do it numerically? Because I have no spinners. I don't even have scale snapping on. Those really shot in there, didn't they? Hmm. I can always extrude them. Because that gives me numbers to play. Let me see if let me see how well that'll work. I'm apprehensive, but I'm trying it anyway. So extrude, just zero everything out real quick. Let's pull these in extrusion base width. We can pull out all the way. That's actually all I wanted to do. I'll just kind of pinch those in a little bit. Okay, so we got some funniness going on with the normals. Let me approach that with some smoothing groups. Um, 45 is a little high. 25. Even that apparently is a little high. It might... It, I wonder if it has double vertices there because of that extrude thing. What do you want to bet? What do you want to bet? Two vertices selected, baby. Sad, really. All right. Did I get anybody I didn't want to get? Yeah, I should do that from an orthogonal view. This is what happens when you try to be clever. You pay the ultimate price. Alright, control, alt. I don't know what you're doing, but don't do it. Control, alt, pull that out. Wow, that's all freaky and stuff, isn't it? Wait a minute, hang on. Did I undo more than I meant to? All right, hang on. I'm stop, stomping back through my undos because I'm scared now. I feel like I broke something. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, yeah. All right, there's my edges again. I really just want to scale these. I could... Heck with it. I can't be bored. I can't be bothered anymore. Goodbye. And we'll see, let's convert these over. So we need to ring them, convert them over, fantastic. And I'm gonna bevel them, so boom, boom. And we'll pull in the height a little bit, go by local normal. And let's bring in the outline amount a little bit. And there we go. So if you can't kill them one way, kill them another way. Let's hit F4, there cool. you go. Looking good. All we had to do was sacrifice a small animal, declare a small land war. All right, now this big fat band has also got a couple of rings on it, so let's go ahead and knock those out just while we're here. Um, jump back over here. Grab these guys. I'm thinking that we could probably take these edges and shrink them in and start to get that kind of tapered effect and maybe just fatten the whole thing up just a tad if it'll let us scale these a little. Will you let us scale those a little bit? It's kind of like, no, I won't. That's okay. Let's not worry about it then. Um, I just want a ring on either side of that. Got awfully quiet over there in the peanut gallery again. No, oh, I'm just watching. <laughs> Alright, we'll increase our amount real quick. Jump in here. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Make sure you hit OK. That pesky old assuming that the operation's already done thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now we'll bevel these as well, and actually that should probably work. Okay, so we kind of have that. Now here's where we really lose what's going on. And from here on out, we're just sort of kind of making it up. Right. Now, here's what I think <laughs> as I get all quiet. Let's see here. I got a, we got that picture that kind of shoots right down this thing. From up, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, see, it seems like it... It kind of bulbs out. Yep, that's, like, that's what I'm getting. And at the same level of that bulbousness, there are these funny little openings on the sides, mm -hmm. which I'm, I'm going to kind of make up. I think I know how they work. Okay. Um, but the, we'll just make something that looks kind of cool. Uh, I Still, though, just to make my life easier with making something that is bulbous, I'm going to do something a little bit wild here. Let's get... You and actually, let's do this at the edge level. It'll just be easier on me. Um, let's see how far I want to push this. Yeah, I'm thinking. Let's get you and you. Would you like for me to write a tutorial? Would that make it a little easier? Oh, you want to start a fight? <laughs> I see. Okay, <laughs> I okay. was just trying to be helpful. Okay. You. <laughs> I'm floored, man. It's like the third time you stopped to think for a little while. I could write you a tutorial real quick on how to model the trans drive, and you can mm. follow it. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I gotta remember, we're not allowed to to say the kind of things we would say on the radio show. So. I'm sure I'll hear plenty of it after this you is over. Got me cornered, which is great. Okay, I'm actually gonna cut this out. I'm gonna create the little bulbous piece out of separate geometry, so that I can make use of something like Turbo Smooth. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to Turbo Smooth something with a whole bunch of edges. I thought we were friends, man. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Boom, loop. You make it to you. I'm just trying to be helpful. You make it to you. All right, uh, great. Let's jump over here to one of the front or back views. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to make a new cylinder. You make it to you. Oh, let's turn off auto grid. <laughs> no, just back off, man. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I heard it, man. I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. It registered. And this is like prime time television. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know if it's a drama or a comedy. Dramatic comedy. Do they even have those? I'm sure they do. Because if you don't have a movie that falls in a genre, you get to make one up. Okay. Fantastic. I'll pull in the radius a little bit. Slide this over and increase the height a little bit. Okay. So I want to kind of fit this in. I don't mind it being a little bit bigger. We can always taper this out to, to mm -hmm. match it, so that's not a concern. Let me go ahead and align it. Uh, let's see, is it Z that I don't need? No, it's not Z that I don't need. It's Y that I don't need. So there we go. So now that should be all nicely aligned. Now, our sides. That's where stuff starts to get cool. We can pull down the number of sides. Let's say down to... 12. And what I'm looking for here is uh, a number of sides that wraps around either side. And 12 might not even be enough. Um, maybe 14. It's got to be an even number because I need the same number of sides on each side. And then I'm going to end up making some edge loops uh, from which I can just take uh, like a selection of faces and just extrude them in. Right. And that will create my opening. Now, before you get much further, I hate to do this. We've got two very interesting things going on. One, it's almost 40 minutes in. Oh, really? Yep. I feel like we just started. And two, we actually have a wild fox right outside the office who <laughs> seems to have gotten a bit restless tonight. I don't know if somebody's out there trying to play with him or what. Probably one of the cats. Um... Well, we still got some good progress in. I well, mean, yeah, we've got a good start on the other one and the second leg in place. So yeah. I'm digging it. Maybe we can squeeze another one of these in tomorrow night. We I'm all in, man. Start throwing in, uh, throwing a few out a little bit quicker. That'd be yeah. awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, other than, no. Thanks no. a lot for the offering yeah, of thanks. a tutorial. I thanks. Mean, <laughs> very welcome. Yeah. Yes, yes, I I mean, there's I, nothing else I can say. Man, I'm fighting. I'm biting my tongue on trying to keep this nice. Okay, well, well, let's take a moment and thank our viewers. Thank all the viewers. Guys, thank you very much for joining us with these videos. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if we can get you another one tossed out tomorrow. Twice the action. And with that, we're out of here. You guys have a good night. Night, everyone.